Oh my god. What is seriously happening? Guys, what is seriously happening? Every time you come on YouTube, the relationship is getting scattered, is breaking up. Marriages are scattering, breaking up. Relationships scattering, breaking up. What exactly is the problem? Like seriously, what is the problem? Do you guys know Rachel and Eric are no more together? Sad. But true. Sapphire Glow, Sapphire Glow is back with another video. Yes, so we have another video today and a very, very interesting video at that. Yeah, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on um, interracial couples. Yeah, uh, I have a gist for you people. Another interracial couples they just spoke of uh, that happened to be uh, Rachel and Eric. I don't know if um, some of you know Rachel and Eric. Uh, Rachel is um, a girl from Kenya uh, that uh, went to Sweden to school to study and then she met this guy, this Swedish guy, Eric, and they became an item and then um, they had a YouTube channel together. Um, I said they had because um, the channel is no more in existence and they had to like um, stop that channel. Um, so few, I think some few months ago, they stopped that channel. Yeah, um, so Richard um, and Eric are both um, a couple on YouTube. They were one of the interracial couples that I started um, following as such when I was um, really, really steady on um, YouTube before I opened my own YouTube channel. I loved, I loved um, both of them together, you know, they're a fun couple to be with, um, to, to look at. So I was following them, I was one of the ardent followers. So, yeah, all those while um, um, there's been some sort of, um, I don't know, between them, these people. Okay, at first, let me just start from what I know. From, the, from um, some few months ago, when they came, uh, they came and they made a, video, a YouTube video and um, she said um, they're not going to be appearing together, as in that they're going to close down their um, Richard and Harry channel. That they had together, then they're going to close it down because there are lots of people uh, trying to pour into their lives, you know, and uh, they didn't want that. You know, at first I was thinking, how could that be a problem when you're on YouTube? You put all your life out there on YouTube. What do you expect? You know, what would you expect from from your subscribers and your followers and your fans? Do you understand? So that was the first um, that was the first um, sign, red light that I saw, you know, and I was I started thinking that, you know. Popular, this couples are going. This um, um, this couple, they're going to break. They're going to eventually break up. And that was what I had in mind the first time. To be honest with you guys, that was the first um, thought I had. You know, the first time that they came up with that um, talk that they're closing down their channel. And then this girl went uh, on to open her own uh, personal channel. She said she's going to quit her own personal channel, which is a Rachel Otunu, which she um, finally, um, she put up and then um, a follower still followed her on that particular channel. She said she's not going to be appearing um, with Eric anymore, so she's going to quit her own channel, which she did and then she got more subscribers on her channel and you know, that's how she has been, you know, she has been going on with this YouTube thing. She stopped the other one and she started on this Rachel Otunu video. So, and then uh, I came across a video she did some few days ago. Um, when she was um, talking about um, she moving out of the of the house because she used to stay with the guy, the Eric of a guy. You know, there are these lovely couples that you would want to watch on YouTube because they have this very flamboyant life. You know, they're always traveling, they're always, you know, they take you to places that they go to, they are fun, fun lovers, lovers to watch, you understand, on YouTube street. You know, so. You know, you see that this guy is one 
guy that faces the top of the world, you know. And um, from um, when I was following them, uh, when I was watching that speaker on um, every channel, you know, you see all, all I could um, figure out in that in those videos that they were doing is that I've already had this in my mind, not to just um, lie about it. I, I've had it all in my mind that it's like this guy is not ready for marriage. It's like is this girl that's been that's been doing all the like putting all the hard work into this relationship because the guy is like to me it's like this Mr. Perfect that wants everywhere to be you know those kind of people that wants everywhere to be clean this kind of person that you know when you look at the house is spotless and you know and you know for the fact that the guy said he doesn't even want a child I knew that this relationship I just pray that you know it goes on as far as you know she prays it to be do you understand? So a few days ago, I came across this video that she made. She was talking about um, she moving out of the house, getting her own place, and all that. And I said, "Yeah, that's the green light. Why would she move out of the house of you know of a, a boyfriend that's gonna be her husband? Though the guy, anytime um, I remember that anytime anybody asks them when are they going to get married in the comment section, and you know when they were together, the Eric and um, Rachel of channel." They always like skip it. They always like, yeah, it's not the right time now. They you just want to take it one step at a time and all that. You know, you see all the excitement anytime those questions come up on the girl's face, but the guy is usually not on that, you know, on that same level as you know she was. Do you understand? So those um the, those comments made them like they said to you know deactivate their Richard and um whatever account, Richard and Eric. Account. So, so a few days ago she made this video and she said she has moved out from the house and she has her own place. She really needs to focus on her studies, what we brought her to uh, Sweden and all that. And she was just, she went on and on talking and explaining. And so many people were um, um, writing in the comment section. And I also wrote, I remember I wrote, which you're going to see on the screen, I wrote and I said, uh, Richard, are you sure everything is okay from everything you just narrated here? Yeah. I don't think I don't think your relationship is good. Your relationship is um, your relationship is going okay. Are you sure what you're telling us is you know from everything you said? I'm thinking it the other way around. You know I don't think everything is fine with your relationship. I made that comment on that particular video. And again, um, so a few days ago, like two days ago, she now made another video which saying um, she was answering comments from her subscribers and you know some of the the hints that she gave us on that um, particular video that she did some few days ago you would know that they have really broken up she and Eric are no more together so I really wonder what is happening to interracial relationship especially on YouTube they're just breaking up and breaking up and breaking up so what I'm beginning to think is is it wrong for people to put out their relationships out there not only interracial relationship you know is it is it wrong to put out their relationship out there or is it is it that these people really did not love themselves or they just falling out of love? I really do not understand because it really amazes me coming up on the YouTube street every day and you see one interracial couple is broken up, this one is broken up, that one is broken up. It's kind of you know, it's kind of um, it gives you concern, you understand. That's why we just like like to talk about like to you know come out and talk about it. You know, so I really felt pity for Rachel that this relationship did not work. But from the onset, I, I, I knew from you know, you know, I knew that it's 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 was just like in my uh, marriage. You know, this this their relationship because the guy for me that's what I feel about Eric. It's too like the Mister. You know, it's like for me, I feel like he was using Rachel as a trophy, as a black trophy. You know, and um, she was expecting too much from him. You know, because you can't be in a relationship for so. It, it doesn't really. Some people are saying you don't have to stay in a relationship for so long. You have to define your relationship because, of course, we weren't there. We don't live with them. She must have asked him, and maybe he just kept on leaving her. You understand that? She believing that you know, one day he's gonna change his mind, and you know, maybe ask pop the question for them to get married or something. I don't know, maybe that was our own expectations, that was our own um, expectations of the relationship, but, you know, she had our own expectation and the guy too was, you know, going on, this, on another level. You know, so that's what I just think. And um, it's not easy, it's not easy to rush into, you know, it's not easy to rush into marriage. That's what they, they always keep um, 
Um, that's what they always keep answering their, their subscribers. Anytime they ask, are you guys going to tie the knot and all that? Yeah, it's not easy to get into Mavi. You have to know yourself very well and all that and all that. And she keep concurring anytime he says that on the line. But I just knew this relationship wasn't going to last. Do you understand? So, but I wish her the very best, you know, with the life. I wish her the very best on, um, on our future plans. And I wish her the very best in um future relationship. And um, she just has to be... Um, careful the next time she really has to like wear options so she really likes uh, has to like um, um, maybe put a card on the table for a partner you know I just define what she wants in the relationship because for me it's like this guy just wasted maybe two three years of her life you know and now it has come to the end of the relationship so I really feel pity for Rachel because she really did not really go she really did not go into details you know but from the hints that she um, she she gave on this last video that she did so I think two three days ago the last video that she did you know you would know that the relationship is broken and all that you know so yeah what are you guys um, thought about it about uh, this relationship that just got broken again you know we've not finished talking about Schumann's uh, divorce e and scandal now we're talking about Richard and Eric you know uh separation again so guys just uh leave a comment down in the comment section let's interact let's talk about um this whole issue and i'll be glad to reply your comments and all that so um for now i'm going to leave you guys and um uh, hope you guys stay safe and um we're going to see um, my next video for now i'm going to say goodbye and um, god bless you have a lovely day bye from me to you my father.